Hi, yes, hello, welcome back to another Millennial Movie Monday. I don't know why my giggle box is turned over. I think it's because I just filmed the video that went live Friday where I showed you the hella cool logo and graphic and all that jazz that Barnes & Company made for me. Blake Barnes is a graphic designer out of Memphis, Tennessee who I went to school with, like elementary school. He designed the logo and stuff that you see on the merch uh, in the bottom corner, whichever corner it is in this moment. He made, oh, I forgot I had cuties in my backpack. I'm hungry. Uh, I just showed you all the merch, which there's a link down below to both the merch. Go check out his stuff. He makes some really cool stuff for, I mean, not just, obviously not just local Memphians because I'm in Knoxville. Anyways, the link to his social media and all that jazz is down below if you want to check that out. I was looking back at some of the footage in the viewfinder and I'm just the most awkward person. Which now do you understand why my username on social media is Awkward Ashley? Like, welcome back to another Millennial Movie Monday. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Happy New Year. And if you are new here, hi, yes, hello. If you're not, welcome back. I'm a millennial that likes to go back and watch classics or movies that are considered classics and watch them for the first time. I like to start every show off with a preview review, which is what I think the movie is going to be about based on what I know about it from pop culture. We watch it together and then I give you my review at the end. If you would like to get access to these videos early or if you would like a watch along version and or a full length movie review, head on over to my Patreon, link in the description box. If not, here we are. Around Halloween time, uh, you know, we participated in Halloween, and so many of you suggested that I need to watch Alien. I saw a lot of reactors doing Alien. And I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to just be another drop in the Alien bucket, you know what I'm saying? So I've been sitting on it for a while. I love horror, suspense, thrillers. I love that. So I've been sitting on this for a long time. And so I've decided that January is just going to be a mosh posh of movies that I have that you all suggested that I just haven't been able, like it didn't fit in with the theme or something, you know what I mean? So I would like to kick off the new year with the 1979 classic Alien. So let's just get on into my preview review, shall we? I'm going to assume that by the title, it's about aliens. Who did y'all tell me was gonna be in this one? Who did y'all tell me? Don't tell me Sigourney Weaver because I saw her in Ghostbusters and I didn't know who that was. Isn't that who's gonna be in it? Or is it Holly Hunter? I think it's Sigourney Weaver. So I don't know who else is gonna be in it, but for real though, if I'm gonna give you my preview view, I'm assuming that it's gonna be about extraterrestrials. Now I'm assuming that they are not friendly like E.T. was, but I bet they're just as ugly. Do they take over the world? Do we stop them? Do we join them? Do they still cows? Is it like Close Encounters of the Third Kind where they talk through Simon Says? Not Simon Says, but Simon. Is this one that I should have done in night vision? It's too late, I've already packed up all that stuff. So instead of me continuing to talk with my mouth full, I'm going to finish this cutie and we're gonna get right on into today's Millennial Movie Monday, the 1979 classic, Alien. Sigourney Weaver! Guessed it. Well, I didn't guess it. You help me. They didn't spend a lot of money on font, did they? Very plain. Return. <laughs> I thought this was more credits. I thought. Okay, I thought it was Craig, so I was like, towing member? Is this Star Wars? Is Chewbacca on this ship? Is this a crossover? How do those work? I never figured out how those little bird water things worked. Are those helmets? Are people in the helmets? <laughs> uh, the walls give me insane asylum vibes. Those are people! Sleep pods? Those little pods look comfortable AF though. Hey, that beard guy! Is that the same guy from, uh, The Thing? They have a cat on board! <gasps> Beans! Cats up into space! <gasps> That's Sigourney Weaver in this movie? Oh my god, she's so pretty. Wait, is that Sigourney Weaver? I don't know, I can't tell. That's not the guy from The Thing. <laughs> you know what, ever since COVID, I still haven't gotten my smell or taste back, so now I just drink black coffee. You know, like, why waste the calories on all that creamer and stuff if I can't taste it? Where's Earth? Y'all can't find Earth? That's a big ship. Holy ship! I hate me too. That is Sigourney Weaver. Look at that jawline. 
Plot twist. It's the Death Star. Did I say twist or twist? <laughs> I don't know what a cell is, but it sounds like you needed those. Just under 2,000 meters. I don't know meters. I don't know how far away that is. Is that his, like, get ready, like, get pumped action? Oh, I hope nothing bad happens to that little baby. I love him. Do we know what his name is? I love him. <gasps> it's another ship. Ash is losing signal. I'm stressed. What do you see? Show me. What do you see? Show me. Oh, now I can make it out. I could not make it out for the longest time. Is that a skeleton? Was this planet invaded by giants? Why is there that big of a skeleton there? So it is an alien, just not the original aliens to the planet. Let's get the hell out of here. Yep, that would be me. What do you got? See what you Ew, got. look at its face. Gross. They'll know if it's a warning or not, yes? <laughs> In other words, it'll be too late. Is this part of the planet or is this part of the ship that they found? I don't know. Plot twist. The whole planet is an alien. Eggs or something. Oh, I don't like it. I don't. No. No, thank you. Oh, no. Oh, get out of, get out of the egg sack. Egg mist. Those kind of look like the gremlin eggs, don't they? Don't touch. For the love of God, don't touch it. This makes me uncomfy. Put it back. We have to get him to the infirmary right away. They brought him back? Ripley, this is no order. Open that hatch right now. Do you hear me? I don't know whose side I'm on. Ripley's being responsible. In a hot what a douchebag. I swear to God, if they all die, Ripley better make it out. What the f is that? What the f is going on? Whoa! Oh my god. Oh, it's not gonna- it's not gonna let you. I would suggest it's feeding him oxygen. So it is breathing for him. Okay, well- I don't know. If it tightens its tail, when you try to move its leggies, maybe remove the tail. Oh, well, that's not good. I don't want that ink pen. This place gives me the creeps. Same. I have confirmed that he's got an outer layer of protein polysaccharides. Ah, protein polysaccharides. Polarized silicon. Polarized silicon, of course. Look, what would you have done with Kane? Left him outside to die. You do your job. And let me do mine. Yes? She was trying to do her job as senior officer, and you decided to overstep that boundary. So why don't you practice what you preach good, sir, and you do you, baby boo, and you let her do her. Well, I don't know. Is Kane okay? Where did it go? This is not good. Now the movie starts. Oh, my God. the worst time for hold on pausing why did this happen right when the movie got suspenseful now I gotta go check and see if I'm about to get killed oh shit <laughs> I guess my upstairs neighbors just dropped something but man they couldn't have picked a worse time to make noise like that <laughs> oh my god I sick of this shit I couldn't even say anything. Oh my god, this is so gross. This can't be that easy. Like, they only had one run in with this alien. What? Is that. Y'all are in space smoking the devil's lettuce? Hey, that's a break time. <laughs> it can't be this easy. What's gonna happen? Kane, 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 buddy, Kane. Get him to infirmary! Why is he in the cafeteria? Why would her have put in his mouth? What the <laughs> is happening? Oh, it's fast as fuck! That little guy said bye! That little guy said, I got to go! They just yeet Kane's body out of the ship into space? <laughs> Could they have just frozen him and gotten it back to Earth for a proper burial? The circus must have burned out. Nah, a little worm thing ate something. Listen, if its blood can, can melt through metal, 
Don't you? Uh, is Annette really gonna do anything? Oh, it's Oliver! <gasps> oh my God! If the cat dies, I'll, I'll, I'll go and get it. Oh, so Brett's dying. He's splitting from the group, so he's out. Jones. Oh, his name is Jones. I like Oliver better, but Jones is fine. Y'all got walkie-talkies or something? Like, radio that shit in. Come on out, baby. It okay. Hi. Oh, you're so scared. <gasps> Stay back. Stay back, kitty. Oh, fuck. What is that? What is that? What is it? Jonesy, don't come out because that thing is scary. Is this like daddy alien? Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh shit, that is blood raining down now. Oh my god. Jones, Jones is just like, bitch, I tried to tell you. Oh my god. What are we gonna do? Nobody makes it out, do they? Oh my god. I hope Ripley makes it. The other girl could die. She's been a bitch this whole time. These little sphincters, I don't like them. <laughs> mm. Oh no. Is there only one alien or like can it reproduce with itself? Lambert cannot keep her cool in stressful situations, which neither can I, but you would think being in space, you would have to do that. Like, get out of there or have your fire- Dallas? Ash, go with him. No, no, I didn't. No, do not, no, do not separate. She just said stick together. Is the cat okay? Do we- Oh, that's some bullshit, dude. No. Are you kidding? What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? So Ash is not a real person. Did the alien possess him? Like, is it a possessing alien? Are you about to beat her with a porno? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, what? What? So Ash was an android and there's an alien killing people. Got it. Okay. A lot happening on this ship. I would not be regenerating this person, this cyborg android guy. No. I'd be like, you know what? You did. Sucks to suck. Oh, the white stuff. Oh my god. What? What a douchebag. What a fucking douche. The cat lives? Oh, we can't blow up the ship because of the cat. Oh no. I'm stressed. I haven't said anything in a second because I'm stressed. <laughs> Fuck you, Jones! I want Parker to live, but Lambert can go. Ooh, ooh, look at all that spit. Oh, it's gonna get her too. Oh my god, it's gonna get her too. Good news is, you got the cat, you got the ship to leave, go, go. Where's Jones? Get Jones. Oh my god, it's covered the thing in the stuff. Oh shit, it's, dude, Dallas. Got the cat? Let's go. Where'd the cat go? Where'd the cat go? She had Jones, where'd he go? Oh my god, did she leave him there? She left him there! F*** you, Ripley! Mother! You're SOL. No, it's expired, baby girl. Ooh, her fingernails are so dirty. If this movie has the audacity to show me the cat's dead body, I'm pissed. <gasps> the cat's okay! The cat ship destructing. I don't know. Oh my god, this is an awful time for my computer to say it has low battery. Oh, pause. <laughs> okay. 30 seconds. Oh my god, you're not gonna make it in time. She's not gonna make it in time. Oh my god. Hyperdrive that bitch. Go, go. 
Okay, so she's not in the clear yet. Sorry. You know what? I bet she got one hell of a sunburn from that. So what now? I mean, I hope you have food on that ship because earlier that ship told you you had 10 months to get to Earth. Oh my God, this alien is on the ship with her. Hi, baby. You okay? You've had a big day. You get your own little bed pod. Night, night, sweet Jonesy. Sleep it off. Love you, mean it. Lord, she getting naked? Pull up the back of your panties, Sigourney Weaver. Yeah, it's hanging out. I know that can't be comfortable. It's a butt crack. Ah! <laughs> oh, fuck! What the fuck was that? No! 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 Her butt's still out! Oh my god! Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That's disgusting. What the fuck is that? Is that the little thing that's been punching everybody? What's your plan? What's your plan? I don't have one for you. What is your plan? He is sleeping? He's had a big day, too. Is she about... To eject herself from this ship? Oh my god, look at its head! Look at how big its head is! Oh no, it's still attached to the ship! Oh, it's still attached to the ship, baby girl! What are we gonna do? Yes! Yes! We're gonna burn that bitch to a grit! You did it! And Jones is okay! I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. Oh my god, she got six weeks until anybody's gonna hear her. I don't know if I could sleep after that, honestly. I don't know if I could. Mm -mm. That's it? That's how it ends? Well, hell, let's talk about it. Wow. I'm so glad I finally got around to watching this. This was a lot of fun for me. And you know what? After the family-friendly bullshit of Christmas... Sorry. <laughs> After the family friendliness of Christmas, I am very glad that I watched a thriller. Cause woo, it got my heart going. That thing's scary as hell. And now I get the Spaceballs reference too, so that's good. Oh my God, that thing's head was so big. Can we also talk about the fact that the cat made it? Listen, all I'm saying, all I'm saying, alien, cat makes it alive, it's a great ending. The thing, a dog is literally dangerous. I'm not saying the cats are better than dogs, I'm just saying one made it out alive and one wasn't an imposter. Don't know what you wanna say about that. Take that what you will. How Oh, was Sigourney Weaver in this movie. But man, that jawline's still sharp as ever, honestly. I don't know, it's, that was a good movie. That was really good. The setup in the beginning was a little lengthy, but honestly, you needed it. Because to, to set the dynamic with Ash and like how he was keeping secrets, but he wasn't really keeping secrets, he was an android. The mother put him there because he was a secret. That was his main mission. That, ooh, that white stuff. I almost made a really bad joke. First movie of 2021. You know what, I think actually, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I feel like a rating out of five stars really limits me. So I'm gonna, for 2021, the rating system is gonna be out of 10 stars. And I don't wanna say this is 10 out of 10 because what if something comes along and like blows it out of the water, you know? But for the first movie of 2021, 10 out of 10 stars. If we're going thrillers, this is a great movie. This was a great movie. I'm gonna give this, you know what? I'm gonna stick with 10 out of 10 stars. Maybe I shouldn't give myself more stars because <laughs> I'm so indecisive. I don't know. This was a great movie. I'm so happy that I kicked off 2021 with it. I wonder if Aliens is as good, the, you know, the sequel. Which, by the way, that title, that play on titles there, the sequel being plural, forget about it. I love that so much. It's so funny. Love this movie. I really thought that bearded guy, I really thought Captain Dallas was the same guy in The Thing who made it out alive. Well, maybe have made it out alive. This was a great movie. Loved it. Every second of it. What a great way to kick off 2021. This is, I'm not in my closet, but this is gonna be the last movie filmed in our apartment. I gotta find a new closet to film it in the house. Whatever, like, subscribe, stick around. Thank you so much for tuning in to the first Millennial Movie Monday of 2021. Links in the description for merch, for Patreon, for uh, Blake Barnes, Barnes & Company, who made my logo and all the beans things in case you need anything made, graphic design. I will see you. Oh, if you want a full length movie review, that's Patreon is where you find that. I guess I will see you in the next Millennial Movie Monday.